Welcome back. Okay, so I was showing the red light as in stop. So green. Yeah. Now, this was made by this young lady and this young man. What's the name of your company again? Inventive Explorers. Inventive Explorers. They are a secondary school company. So tell us, you built this. What did you feel like? What does it feel like running a company at this age? Okay. Running a company has been an exciting adventure and a great experience for us young learners. We, we as young learners, we face some challenges while running the company, but we're able to overcome them. And also, we also like saw the need for safety in our society. So we, after much brainstorming, we thought of producing the handheld LED traffic lights. So, have you sold any of these? Yes. How many have you sold? 17 of these. Actually 19, but two paid on installment. But 17 have fully paid. Paid mm. on this? What do you mean paid on installment? Mm. Like... Oh, they haven't finished paying? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, Vice they President... They've got a payment plan. Um, you're Vice President of Finance, so I'm sure you'll be thinking salaries and all of that. How many people are in your company? <laughs> company members okay yes so and how much do you pay yourself every month or every week it depends because our company we are active members and non-active members okay so, it varies. so the active members are paid and the non-active are not paid. the active members are paid more and non-active members are paid less base so what is the base the base is no wage. less than 300 naira a month or a week a month okay so minimum That's wage in your company wage. is 300. <laughs> <laughs> and else you should come out here. This one. <laughs> okay, but you know that anyway, as children, you're not at working age yet. So this is like a learning thing. Mm. Okay, so when you say you've how much you say you so how much did you sell this? We've not sold any of that, but this we've is sold a, these are two faced ones. Yes, yes. Okay. these are improved products. But we sold these and the same board. These ones are for 18,000. Why this bigger one is for 22,000 there? This is spelled out under okay. the traffic lights. And um, you sold those ones already. Yes. Yes. What has, what, uh, what's the feedback you've been getting from those that bought your product? They really loved it. Actually, when we started, we first produced this. That is not two-faced. So after selling to our, cost, our customers, we got feedbacks like they, need, they needed us to like make it two-faced because uh, there are some roads that are two-sided, two-way traffic. Yeah. So we thought of that. We saw, we saw the need to also produce that. That was what gave us the idea to produce this. Okay, this two-phase one. Yes. Okay. And there was this other... Pro the, our first set of products produced, the handles were shorter. That's, we also got feedback from them saying we should at least make it longer. Make it longer. That's why it's longer. Okay. So. I'm holding this now. And I, have, I know I have big, big palms. So I'm wondering how... You will be fit, how comfortable it will be for you to hold this. Probably, are you, I believe you're thinking of reducing the size a little. Yes, bit? we also got feedback from our customers saying if we can make this rounded and yes. we should, it should be frictional so that it can be easy to it switch on and off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, Emmanuel, what's the plan for the future? Yes, okay. First of all, we intend to like register our company and our product under corporate affairs commission. To trademark the company and the product. They're thinking big. Also, we want to meet both local and foreign investors for this our product to make to bring safety known worldwide to both local and foreign investors. So that's what we <laughs> VP, okay. the materials you use. Yes. You said some of the people went out to get them. Mm -hmm. I mean they were locally sourced. Actually the LED bulbs they were really hard to get because they were fake, they were original. So, you know, LED bulbs, they were imported. So we had to go as far as Agege to get our LED bulbs. But other materials were, some of them were sourced locally. No, when you say imported, there's someone that imported from Agege to Agege. <laughs> 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 but it's okay, I understand, I understand. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you start them. Why did you think to source locally? Why didn't you think about, ah, didn't you consider it as a challenge? We don't have this here, so we have been thinking of importing from outside the country. Mm. Why did you think to go around and find it locally? Because they were available. Some of these, some of these materials were available, so we didn't see the need to bring it out of the country. Mm. So it will incur more expenses on us. 
Yeah. VP Finance. Exactly. Yes, she knows so. Uh, Carol favored. favored. They were the winners, yes. and they, pres uh, they they made these um, LED lights, traffic lights. What other things did other schools present? Amazing, I mean, those who didn't win. Amazing products. They even know <laughs> that um, those other schools, I mean, gave them a run for this position. But I mean, eventually they did come out top. So we had um, Government Girls Secondary School, Abaji, and they, um, they produced, they designed an online market where local farmers could sell directly to their customers. And because they're in Abuja, which is sort of like the northern region, they, are, they for their business idea was born out of the need to um, connect farmers with customers directly um, so that it would eliminate the middleman, which sort of like makes the process longer. So farming and agriculture is one thing that is um, big in Nigeria and it's also a problem because local farmers um, have the issue of not being able to have their products reach their That's customers the immediately, mm. you know, as soon as they are um, harvested. So you find um, that we're suffering from la food, um, food spoiling, like crops and products spoiling. So these girls thought about this, um, this opportunity where farmers could directly sell, reach their customers. Of course, um, it makes the goods cheaper, doesn't it? If you cut out the Absolutely, if you cut out the middleman, it mm -hmm. does. Um, there was also the Sharon Glory Ventures from Sharon Rose College in Shaki. That's a school from Oyo State. Um, they produced a water level indicator. And I remember that when they were being presented with the third position, um, one of our judges, Paul Okilg of um, Chocolate City Group, he mentioned that while they were making their presentation on the stage and talking about their water level indicator products, it wasn't very clear what it was about. But when they went out, as all the judges went out to the student booths where they were, you know, making demos the of their products, uh -huh. they could now see how amazing that product was. And it just, I mean, went for that to show why it's important to demo, you know, to have demos of your products. And we did have that for all the student companies. Um, and then we also had um, students from um, Ebony who designed a manual um, phone charger where um, if you're in the rural community, which was where these products were targeted at, mm. where there's um, probably not enough um, power supply and you need to charge um, some of your devices, you can do that with the manual charger. Mm. So um, you turn it and then it generates um, power and it charges your devices. So we did have a number of um, amazing okay. products. Thank you, Junior Achievement Nigeria. Thank you, First Bank, for supporting. And thank you to... Um, Carol Favor. Carol Favor. No, the name of the company. Inventive, Inventive Explorer. Explorer. Thank you for this device. You, please take... I'm, I'm, I'm not into it. I'd just like to quickly mention that um, they are going on to represent JA Nigeria at the JA Africa um, competition in, in Ghana. Ghana. Yes, we in wish December. you well as you go. Uh, thank I you. would like to also add that we are sponsoring you, the sponsor. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Chinonso Dimatang is a marketing and communication manager, J Nigeria, Ismail Omamegbe, head corporate responsibility and sustainability, first bank, I, I got the name now. Yeah, Uche Tuku, Friedrich student, Carol Favored, and Emmanuel Anyao, also a student at Carol Favored College at, at Jigule. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, thank and you. God bless you as you go forth. Thank you. Well done. We'll be back for the home stretch. Don't go away.